My name is Jada Kai, and I am from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was a former competitive figure skater. Uh, I represented Team USA and Philippines, um, and I was also a Philippine national champion, so I'm known for my figure skating past. Like sex, my first time. Sorry, no, I you're haven't fine. been repeating your question. Um, my first time having sex was a very exhibitionist moment. Um, I didn't tell the guy who I was having sex with that I was a virgin, so I was like acting like I knew what was going on and like how to do everything, but that was not the case. Um, and it was also at a party like we were me and this guy were like making out in the hot tub and then you know people were like okay <laughs> i guess we'll leave you two alone so everyone went inside and then people were like watching from the second floor and i saw them like as i'm like having sex with this guy for the first time so it was definitely <laughs> it was like an on stage type of thing Um, my first time getting naked online was about five years ago. Um, it was on a webcam platform called Chatterbait. I hop on there every so often. Um, but again, very nervous. I was like having butterflies in my stomach, but it was really fun. <laughs> I was going wild that night, like jumping on the bed, just going crazy. It was a really good time. Um, I feel like I ended up doing cams because there was like a bread trail, like breadcrumb trail to like leading up to cams. Like I started meeting other sex workers, like strippers. I worked at a costume store. Um, so a lot of like theater people, a lot of performers in general would shop there. And um, I got to, you know, strippers and stuff like that and I feel like I grew up pretty sheltered so I didn't know anyone that was actually a sex worker I had a, like a very different perception of who sex workers were um, and then once I got to know them I was like wow they're like people they're really cool you know um, and then I started exploring my sexuality a little bit more. I had one girl that was very open about her sexuality and she could like talk about sex. And that was like my first time being able to like do that. Um, so I feel like just getting in touch with my sexuality, feeling comfortable with that made me be like, oh, what's this like what? camp thing all about. I ended up seeing like a YouTube video on like girls making money in their bedroom and I was like that sounds fun. Um, but yeah, my first time I did do a lot of research and I was like okay this is something that I want to try. I want to get my feet wet. I'm not going to tell anyone. Um, and then I just like fell in love with the industry and that's why I'm still in it today. I love girls because, I don't know, I feel like girls are just so easy to talk to. They're always beautiful, friendly. Um, sometimes I do get intimidated um, with girls, but most of the time it's like, I just like having a girl around and, I don't know, girls are just fun. Like, <laughs> it's never a bad time when there's like lots of girls. Um, there is this girl, Crystal Davis, who we always do these like stepdaughter, stepmom role plays. Um, last week I was a gamer girl, like, playing around with my um, friend Brenna. My craziest one? I don't know. I mean, this 10 girl orgy that I just did last month. That was pretty crazy. We just got a hotel room and <laughs> we had like a slumber party and we were throwing popcorn everywhere. Things got wild, you know. <laughs> um, my favorite type of content to create is content.
content with my friends. Um, I love the amateur vibe. I love, you know, the realism of it. I like seeing natural chemistry. I also like a little bit of humor. Um, just like fun things. Nothing that's too forced. Anything natural is what I love. The reaction of my friends and family <laughs> after they found out that I was getting that I was in the industry. Can I say that again? Um, the natural reaction of my friends and family when they found out that I was in the adult industry has been pretty mixed. Okay, so there are some people who are like, oh my god, that is so like disgusting that you're doing that in front of people. Like Ew, <laughs> I get that reaction. I've also gotten like, you're dead to me if you're doing this, which has been like a little bit hard and like heartbreaking. Um, I've also gotten like very positive supporting people um, that were just like so about what I'm doing and that felt really good. Like I had one of my friends um, who I was really close with when she found out that I was a sex worker she was like oh my god like you're you're a CEO you're an entrepreneur now and you know you can do whatever you want and oh, I'm always going to support you so it really just showed who you know like the real ride or die people were in my life I I feel like the Filipino community is really divided about how they think about sex work like there are people that are very in touch with their sexuality and you know they have no problems expressing themselves but there's also a side of filipino culture where you know it's very reserved very sheltered and you know they're not open about their sexuality because there's a big like religious base to that side and Mm, they're not very supportive. They're like, you know, the devil is gonna come back and get you. Um, you know, you're ashamed to the culture, but there are a lot of people that want me to be like, I want to be able to express my sexuality. So you are actually um, setting a very good example for Filipino people because, or Filipino ladies, because, you know, you can express yourself. You can wear what you want, you know, you can it's okay to be sexual. It's like a part of you. So <clears throat> I would say that, you know, people are hot and cold still about the sex industry. <laughs> I swear every time I have sex, I'm like, this is the best sex I ever had. <laughs> um, it's hard for me to say because I've had like times where, you know, I, I was driving with Jackie to, to across from Philadelphia to Colorado because we were moving there and uh, we just got so horny we like pulled the car over and had sex like some random farmland, I don't know. Um, I like laid the snuggy down, like banged it out right there and I was like, oh my god, that's <laughs> so crazy. Um, that has to be like top top two but I've had like amazing scenes too I don't know I can't I can't choose I think this time is gonna be like the best sex I ever had <laughs> I actually did um, a scene for four play films and it was actually a collaboration scene with a company and um, they rented out an ice rink for me and uh, so I got to show off my skating um, I got to talk about something that was like real to me um, for play films is a is a porn company like their logo is um, made for women by women so it wasn't like your typical you know like sexy b-roll and then you guys fuck it since it is made for women, um, there's a lot of like emotional touch into the film. So they wanted me to open up about, you know, something that really meant something to me. So I got to talk about my light skating past, things that I 
felt like self-conscious about and it was with Jackie and we ended up getting down in the locker room after. It was a beautiful scene um, and the fact that I got to skate for a porn was really fun. Um, I've had a, I've had quite a few threesomes, um, and I like them. I think I like one-on-one -on -one more because I think I'm a little bit too ADHD to like, <laughs> like I want to be everywhere. Like, I'm like, I don't know where to go. Like there's, huh, there's pussy here, but there's dick here. Like, what do I do? And I just like want to jump around so much that I feel like I don't enjoy myself as much, but I still have a lot of fun doing um, threesomes and orgies, I guess. <laughs> Anal. Okay, so I played with like butt toys. Um, that's as much as I've done so far. I have like a few butt plug videos, but I'm not ready for like full on anal, you know? I think my Okay, so for me, <laughs> I'm not very much of a planner, and I think anal requires a lot of planning, you know, because it's anal. So the fact that you have to, like, plan for sex two days in advance is, like, seems like a very stressful thing to me. So mm, anal's not on the list yet. <laughs> but you guys keep asking for it, so I'm like, oh, I'm letting you guys pressure me. <laughs> when a guy finishes, he should just like, you know, <laughs> let it go wherever, right? Um, I don't, as long as it's not in my eye, I feel like we're good. You know, we're in the clear because it like burns. I actually have like in my booty bag, like a little eye wash kit in case, you know, in case of emergency, you get cum in your eye, um, which is a very good sex tip. Like, if you're having sex a lot and you don't have an eye wash kit, like, <laughs> you need to get one. Um, so anywhere but my eyes, hair is also not a, not a good place to come either. So it's like, <laughs> you have, you can come wherever, just not the eyes or the hair and we're, we're good. Um, I found out on camera that I like licking girls' buttholes, and I guess that's a little filthy, you know, like not everyone's about the booty hole, but <laughs> it's fun to play with. It's like cute little hole. <laughs> I guess, like, I'm gonna have to try the whole anal thing because I know that when people type, um, Jada Kai into Pornhub, like it's like Jada Kai anal. So <laughs> I feel like I have to try it. Um, I'll probably like let my only fan see it first and be like, should I put it out there for the world to see? Um, that's one of the things, that's the only thing that I can think of right now that I feel like I should try. But don't be like begging me to do it like anytime soon because if you guys put that pressure on me, I'm just gonna be like, no. A blumpkin. <laughs> Something that I would never do on camera is a blumpkin. I wouldn't I will not even do a fake blumpkin. I've heard that some scenes, like pro scenes, will have they'll be like, we'll put a Snickers bar in the toilet. <laughs> and like, no. I will never do it. Even if it's a Snickers bar, I'm not going to depict that I've ever given anyone a blumpkin. It's horrible, you guys don't. It's like the... Ugh, I don't even want to talk about this before sex. Um, but I think it's when a dude is on a toilet and, you know, they did number two. I'm trying to do this as like like very not graphic okay so dude does number two and then girl gives a bj and that's what a blumpkin is <laughs> um it's very nice to have jackie in the industry with me because 
I feel like coming into the industry alone can be really hard because a lot of people that come into the industry are not sure if they want to do this forever. It's something that they're going to be a little bit more nervous about. So having to have like having support from the very beginning when I started, I actually started this secretly. Um, so because I was like, I don't know what he's going to think about it. I'll just try it first. And I think a lot of people have that mentality where they're like, I don't know, I'm like getting naked for the people. What are other people going to think? Um, but as soon as I did it, I was open about it and I was like, hey, I got naked on webcam. Like, what do you think? <laughs> um, and he was supportive. He was like, you know, I think that's really cool that you, you can do that. Not everyone can do that. Um, you know, you get to work from home, like all, all positive support. Um, I think if I didn't have anyone, I can feel like very lonely, which is odd. You know, you would think that someone in the porn industry, like, oh, they're never lonely. They're having sex. But, you know, once the scene ends, like that's when you're feeling most vulnerable. And if a scene ends and you have to like go home and like be by yourself and you can't talk about it with any of your friends, that can be something that's really hard to like deal with mentally because you know people aren't very supportive of it sometimes because there is a stigma and so all the support means like so much to me um my experience so far in the industry has been overall very positive um i happen to meet like some of the best people in the industry who has put me on like a very good road to success i feel like um for new people i would say you know be careful don't do anything you don't want to do um you know make sure you're comfortable with yourself make sure you know you're taking care of your mental health you take breaks because it's very easy to I feel like it's very easy to just like work all the time because this industry has so many outlets there's so many roads to go on that you can just pick whatever makes you happiest Hi, I'm Jada Kai. Thanks for watching this interview on Plug Talk. If you want to see the full uncensored version, click the link in the bio or description. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>